Okay guys, so today's topic is about hosting the most uh, famous platforms that we are going to use for, for Python hosting is pythonanywhere.com and one is heroku.com. We will be covering both of these uh, sites in today's uh, tutorial but let's first get started with Python Anywhere. Just click on pricing and sign up. Here, click in the pricing tab, create a beginner's account. Add your username, like for example, if I add Monday and the email be Nafis, or it doesn't need to be have a verified email, it is only required in case you forgot your password. And the email is only required, so I can add it as divine.monday at the rate mymail.com. A typically messed up email address, you don't need to because. Okay, let's make it Gmail. It's giving some issues. There, uh, gmail.com. And then the password. Tuale. Oh. Similar here. And I agree. Register. Oh, it's already taken. Let's make it Divine Monday. Here it came. You can take a tour but I know how it works but if you take it then it will be good like here it, it uh, the console window manages all your uh, console or terminals the only console that you have is bash console you won't get command prompt here of course and the other is the Python interpreter console then there comes files that manages all the files and folders that you are having in your web app directory and here are the web applications. You can have multiple web applications only on paid projects. So the only web apps that you'd be having as a free beginner's account would be a single app. A simpler WSGI app, not much scalability. And the notebooks. These are the for paid Python Anywhere users. So you can't use it. It's just for bait. And here is the tab where you can manage among your dashboard, your console, your files, your web that contains all your web tasks, web app related and the tasks uh, here where you can define tasks and the databases which you will be working on in the last blah 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 these are just questions okay now so the first priority is to no, not this on web just go to web as we don't have a web app yet so first thing that we are gonna do is to create a web app here by this add any web app button next then the framework we are going to use is flask python 3.8 next here we got our new app now let's see what it does oh python in here is really fast the it contains the basic message called hello world.flask because we haven't uploaded our project yet so go to files now uh, upload a file now it's saying upload a file and we need to add a folder so how to pass a folder as a file the only way possible is to send a zip file and then extract it from the console to do this what we are gonna do is to like suppose this is our uh, project that you are gonna host web a david and it's an, an ordinary flask project as you can see templates and here is the David app. The first priority that you are uh, gonna do is to make a zip file of this a David. Here we got our zip file as a David dot zip. Let's. Uh, and this is the file okay which we are going to open we have to wait until that file just uploads and here it got because it was a simpler project so it uh, updated automatically now go to the console window through here here now type unzip a david dot zip now as we have unzipped so all the contents inside a david is now extracted as here are all the project directories and the files that we have used now we have to move this and uh, the contents of a david folder to 
my site folder so the bash command for that thing is move that is by mv a david slash all files that means uh, all files inside a david folder and now the directory where we want to move it that is my site and uh, oh the uh, thing is done now let's get back to our my site folder okay now here is the my site thing and as you can see it has our david app.py and the flask app.py which was the default uh, what this flask app.py contains by the way it was created by, uh, by default using by the python anywhere oh now i get so this hello world from flask message that i got from here was from this file now i get it it's that the when there is no uh, not when i haven't hosted any of uh, my projects so what uh, python anywhere displayed on this app was this flaskapp.py now i better delete it okay let's just not now just go to web now as we know that python anywhere this design monday that python anywhere.com is actually showing hello from flask so let's add ours and how that thing is done by clicking here this wsgi.py is our wsgi app that is hosting this flask app into the server into the host of divine monday.pythonanyway.com instead of our app so what is our app name let's see our app is david app that's the name so from david app we need to host the app which is the flask object that we are using and that's done save it and let's try to visit the URL here as you can see here I got the projects let's open filler oh it's working as expected as I tested it hmm it's working perfectly just as I thought it was working on localhost the same way it's working here Hmm, nice. Apple with David is also a great guy, man. Nice. Okay, now, but wait a second. What's this? Connection not secure? Oh, now I understand why we got this. Because if you see the URL, it's actually HTTP force as enable force HTTP now once enabled all you need to do is to reload the application now we'll revisit it ha, here we go as you can see now the connection is secure why I didn't add any connection or any security uh, things to it. It's just a click of, uh, uh, it's just a click of a button, and it's the dumbness of browsers that every HTTPS is secure. <laughs> Same thing, plus with faster speed. 